Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 31 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about pivot function in PySpark. So basically, this pivot function will actually help you to convert columns data into different columns. That means, let's assume you have a column called gender in which you have multiple rows where you have like male and female information. Okay, so now you want to convert this male and female as a new columns, as a individual columns, then you have to use a pivot function. So basically this pivot function can be applied on top of the group data. So because you have multiple columns with the same values multiple times, so you will be grouping them and then you will be converting that individual column values into separate columns altogether. When I practically explain you this with an example, then you will make more sense of it. So let me go to workspace here. I have already opened my Databricks workspace and here let me go to workspace and let's try to create a new notebook here. I can hit here also to create a new notebook. Let me name it like a pivot notebook and Python is a default language. My cluster is attached. Let me hit create button to create the notebook. So let's close this pop up and here firstly let's try to create a data frame. So, in the interest of the time, I have already copied some data to create a data frame here. So, let me copy paste here and explain this. So, here I have a data variable which is a list, list of tuples. Every tuple actually represents one row which has ID information, name, gender and the department. That is the reason I created a schema variable with list of my column names. Now, I am passing this data variable and schema variable into create data frame function to create a data frame. So if you have seen all my PySpark videos by this time you already know this because all the videos are in a sequence order and in the initial videos I have explained how to create a data frame with some dummy value. So that exactly same thing here we are doing. We are creating a data frame with a dummy value and let me hit shift enter to execute this code and let's try to visualize this data frame as a table here. So our command is running here. So once the Java execution completes, I can see my data frame data. ID column, name column, gender column and department column. Now what I want is, I want to uh, get a data from this data frame where uh, for every department, what is the employee count for male and female. So let me explain you this. If you have seen my group by videos, you already know that how to do it. So let me practically show you this. On a data frame, I am using a group by function. To the group by function, I will be telling like a group by department. Maybe also group by gender and then get me count. So if I do that, I will be getting departments count for every gender. This we already know. Let me hit shift enter. To execute this code and let's see the result whether it will come it see here we got it grouped by department and gender for male department in IT how many employees for female department in IT how many employees similarly for HR department in male how many employees in female how many employees so this is how we can group by and we can achieve it what if if I want I want a department column and then I don't want this gender column like this what I want is, I want like here male column and here female column. Under male column, for IT employees, what is the count it should display? For female, under female column, for IT employees, what is the count it should display? Something like that. So, if I explain you this, I want like this. So, there should be a department column and then I want this male as a separate column and then I want this female also as a separate column and then here for IT department, uh, for two male employees and three female employees. Similarly, for HR department, we have one female employee, two male employees. So, like this, I want a data frame. So, if you closely observe, this male and female values are coming from this gender column and which came as a pivoted fashion actually. So, that means this rows became columns here actually. So, this is called pivot. How to achieve this? Let me practically show you that. So here, let this code be here like this. 
so again on the same data frame whatever i created here i am using a group by so why i kept this line here as it is so that i can show you the difference when it executes all the three statements three date three outputs printed so we can compare the outputs so here i can do group by department first and then the second group by instead of grouping by gender we are grouping it using a pivot it's an aggregation function actually so use a pivot function here to the pivot function pass your column on which you want to pivot the data and then finally get a count right so let's finally use a show function here and let me hit shift enter now let's wait for the command to run and now if you closely observe we got the exactly same output so under department it and hr departments for female as a column male as a column so like this you can pivot this data into individual columns actually so it is very useful function actually not only that for example after pivot let's assume in this case since we have two different types of genders male and female so that's why two columns came in reality let's assume you have 10 different kind of rows in some column which you want to pivot then that 10 different types of columns it will create right instead maybe you want only few columns then you can name them so for example here i am getting two columns but i want only one column like male so that we can achieve like this actually so here what we can do is uh, in the pivot function you can supply the column names the uh, that column data which you want to pivot so maybe from the gender column i want to pivot only male so i can do like this so when i hit shift enter it will pivot and print only male information you can see here so if i want female information also either you remove this entire list from here or you can pass something like this so when i hit shift enter it will print the see if you see the output it will print the both the columns so this is how it actually works okay so i hope with this you got an idea about pivot function thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much